certainly feels like we've turned a corner in the weather department with sunshine expected most of the week. But that sunlight can have an impact on our sleep, good and bad. Sarah Mo with Sleep Health Specialist joins us with what you can do to sleep better. Sarah, great to have you with us. Hi there, guys. Hi. Now, the sun is, I think some people might think, oh, the longer days might be a challenge when it comes to going to mm -hmm. sleep. But you say that sun actually is a huge, huge asset to getting good sleep. Absolutely, yes. So the sunlight helps us boost our melatonin production. And melatonin not only helps us fall asleep, but it helps us stay asleep as well. So it's really important to be exposed to sunlight during these days to make sure that your sleep can be as consolidated as possible. What is melatonin? Some people take it in a pill form to right. try to help them. But what's the natural? So melatonin is a naturally produced hormone that does help us um, kind of consolidate our circadian rhythms, which is our natural time clock for when we're supposed to be asleep and awake. And so actually spending time outside in the sunshine will help you sleep? Yes, 100%. If you go outside in the morning and get exposed to sunlight immediately, it will produce the exact amount of melatonin that you need to be able to fall asleep and stay asleep. And this is kind of how the body was made, right? Exactly, like, yeah. The yep. truth is we're all the ones who are kind of messing with the natural way we should right. be sleeping. And unfortunately, it's because of all of the negative influencers that are now a part of our lives that weren't a part of our lives, you know, back then. Well, yeah. We've had you on the show many times times before and I know that you've always talked about the blue light, the yes. artificial light and how that can impact our sleep. Yes. How is that different than sunlight? So sunlight is a brighter light and obviously a, a very natural light um, and blue light is a, a faster frequency that causes neurological disruptions. Got it. Should So uh, to get that benefit, people should really try to expose themselves to the sun in the morning? Yeah, morning is best, but any time during the day, if you can get Still outside, works. it's great. Especially if you're somebody who works in an office space or has to have a sedentary uh, desk or something, you know, just get outside on your lunch break, maybe mm -hmm. take a walk and get exposed to that sunlight. Well, it's great to hear that the sunlight helps us sleep, but I know that there are people who have to go to bed maybe a little bit earlier sure. than others before the sun sets. What advice do you have for them to block it out because it can be bright sometimes. Absolutely. Um, the best advice really is to just practice good sleep habits. Mm -hmm. uh, try to get to bed around the same time every night. Avoid that blue light exposure and caffeine and intake and, and just do your best to really take care of your sleep. Yeah. Some people have more severe sleep problems and that's the kind of stuff that you can figure out. Yeah. But for most people, it's just uh, bad habits. Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. Most of us have uh, trained ourselves to have poor sleep, but it's very easy to train ourselves to have good sleep as well. Awesome. Right. Well, I think we'll all sleep well this week with all the Enjoy sunshine. Enjoy the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sarah Mo, thank Sarah, you so thank much. Thank you.